Have you ever wondered how owning stocks works? Well, let's demystify it. Imagine you're buying a slice of a gigantic corporate pie. That slice, no matter how small, is a stock. And owning that stock means you own a portion of the company it represents. It's like having a tiny voice in a boardroom, influencing decisions, and even sharing in the company's profits. Quite fascinating, isn't it? So, when you own a stock, you own a piece of a company. But how does that work in reality? Owning a stock is like owning a tiny piece of a big company. Let's break that down. Stocks are bought and sold on a marketplace known as the Stock Exchange. Think of it as a bustling marketplace full of traders shouting out their best offers. But instead of vegetables and fruits, they're dealing in shares of companies. Now, the price of a stock isn't fixed. It's a tug-of-war game between supply and demand. When there are more buyers than sellers, the price goes up. And when there are more sellers than buyers, the price goes down. This fluctuation is constant, and it's what makes the stock market so dynamic. The value of your stock, your tiny piece of the company, can increase or decrease based on these shifts. This means that as an investor, you could make money if the value increases or lose money if it decreases. So the price of your stock can go up or down, and that affects how much your piece of the company is worth. Now you might be wondering, why would I want to own a piece of a company? Well, there are several compelling reasons. Firstly, owning stocks offers the potential for financial gain. If the company does well, the value of your stock can increase, making your initial investment worth more. Secondly, as a shareholder, you have the opportunity to vote on important company decisions. You become part of the company's journey and have a say in shaping its future. Pretty cool, right? Thirdly, there are dividends. Some companies distribute a portion of their earnings back to shareholders. These payments, known as dividends, provide a steady source of income, separate from the potential increase in stock value. Lastly, investing in stocks is a way to grow your wealth over time. While it involves risk, the potential for return can make it a worthwhile endeavor. So, owning stocks can be a way to grow your wealth, earn income, and have a say in how a company is run. It's like owning tiny pieces of big companies, 